I was about to put you in that little pond. She's a survivor. I got bit by a ringtail, which is not legal. <laughs> These guys love just sitting in here. Look at this catch. Oh. This is the alpha muscle mom. Kevin is no longer aggressive at all. Good morning, everybody. I'm here with my son, Bigger Tip. And we have this little squirrel here still. This little guy is doing very well. I've had him for about a week now. He's been taking the bottle and the syringe super well. But it's time this little boy moved into a place with some other little squirrels about his age. So he doesn't just completely imprint on humans like Big Ounce has. Big Ounce is a legal pet to own here in Texas, though. And this little squirrel is not. Unless you have all kinds of special permits. And this guy needs to go back to the wild because he was orphaned. So I'm taking this little bean to all things wild today. But first I'm gonna fill you guys in with what's going on with the rest of the property. Come on, Big Ounce, let's hear a yell. Come on, Big Ounce, give us a yahoo. We finally got the dumpster moved out of here and all the trash is now gone. I separated this goat mother from the other goats because she was bullying them. <laughs> And just like every other day, I take Big Ounce and I put him in this nice big area here where he can run around and play and eat the grass. Like a wild prairie dog. And here he's protected from all of the hawks and other things that can come down and get him. Have fun, bigger tit. After about two years of waiting, I finally have a building here with electric running to it. Like I've said many times before, I still have not accepted any donations for the Urban Rescue Ranch nonprofit because I waited until the house was done to do so. Because I don't want any of you guys going, Uncle Ben, you donation money for his house which is not legal and now our interns can stay in this loft instead of the nasty trailer that tommy in it flooded and from this little porch here i can supervise the office and this old house is an office now with this little quarantine kennel right here but from my house i'll be able to check on the volunteers and see everything that's going on in the property and i can shoot trespassers from my porch or any of the windows <laughs> these two enclosures will be for rehabilitating marsh birds and owls but if we get our permits away we'll put lemurs in here and alligators in here you always have to have a backup this is our maternity ward for raccoons and possums and we also have our little dove enclosures here i have these wild i am kamani chickens that just roost in random places around the property the clappy blappies are very happy and they're doing well here we just refilled their water this morning so they have a lot of nice clean water in there i'll be moving another big green tub that's wider than this into here pretty soon so that they can all swim and not fight each other over the water. Because I don't want these boys giving each other any more scars than they already have. Look at that poor boy's scar. But that's how they handle things in the wild and it's a normal part of being a Kathy. Our March bird enclosure is almost done. We just need to put the new liner in here, which will take about 20 minutes. And we need to cut a hole in that shipping container and turn that into an enclosed area. But we can take in any marsh birds here. The baby's over here munching on some food. And Garbanzo Beans is in a particularly talkative mood today. These baby goats are doing really well. And by the next time you guys see a video from us, this entire area will have nice Bermuda grass sod all over the ground. And we'll finally have grass in here again. After Petunia destroyed all the grass in here with some other pigs a long time ago, it just never grew back. Look at these perfect little creatures, you guys. Oh, I love him. And these guys are doing really well. They're super healthy. We've had them here for about a week now. And look at those beautiful blue eyes. And I got some more updates on the back here for you guys, but we need to get that squirrel to the other rehab here we go last time i was here all this grass was dead but this is all things wild they're wildlife rehab that is 50 minutes that away from me kate was showing me the <laughs> secret method to getting these fussy squirrels to eat and boy do they have a lot of squirrels and several of these are ones that i've brought in from our rehab oh my goodness look at this one and this is just a fraction of the hundred or so squirrels that they get every year but they give them a mix of sunflower seed fruits and veggies and pecan look at this guy just chewing on that antler i tried helping them catch this escaped grackle but boy was he smart oh my Goodness. And this Pekin duck also came in with a horribly wow. broken beak. She's a survivor. Some wild blue winged teals came in, which was neat. And this overly friendly black belly whistling duck that someone likely kept as a pet from the time it was a baby. And here's an interesting story. I got a call about this little owl in Waco, but because my phone was off, animal control picked it up and brought it to the Humane Society who brought it to all things wild, which is kind of interesting. And this is just a beautiful little red tail or Cooper's hawk. We also had to catch these squirrels for release. And this is Ian. He's been a faithful <laughs> volunteer at all things wild for a long right time <laughs> now he's gonna be yeah which one even was that this one's my favorite i also clocked in a few more raptor experience hours by feeding these little bad boys i believe these are little cooper's hawks and one of these i think i brought here oh. 
And this is one of the black vultures in their vulture flight pen. But this little boy is one of the little orphan kites that I brought here from Waco. He just sticks around hoping he'll get fed a little bit. Eventually he'll migrate away, but it's really rewarding to be able to feed this little free-ranging orphan we rescued in Waco. You get that? Watch this and listen to his call in slow motion and tell me this isn't a literal dinosaur. And these guys can actually eat their prey while flying around. I also help feed these eastern screech owls in their little pre-release enclosures. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. And Lauren introduced me to the educational ambassador barred owl that they have. Speedy is a little sulcata tortoise that got hit by a car. And then they put artificial collagen on his back. And it's already healed, but in 10 years, apparently, it should look good as new. And this little guy was illegally kept as someone's pet. But I just cleaned his little enclosure and set it up. And now he has some nice food. And no, mom, I didn't just walk around and film the whole time. I also cleaned one dish. These are the ringtails, you guys. As you can see, they're about ready to go back to the while that one just bit me for no reason at all and i might bleed a little bit but at least i can say i got bit by a ring tail these guys are for sure just about ready to go back into the wild and we have about six of them in here but they're feisty little fellas look at that this is what they look like as you can see they're like a mix between a squirrel a raccoon and a fox they also look kind of like kinkajous a little bit okay just gonna go ahead and log my hours real quick hey, if you guys want to support them here's their information and a luncheon you can attend a country brunch if you will and look guys it's the half cock of rabbits. All right, everybody. I came with the squirrel and we're leaving with the pibbin. This little beautiful boy is going to join our flock. Can we get six likes on this video? Can we? Oh, no, no. Almost fell in the water there. The baby is now a lot more uppity that the temperatures are going down. This is the season for them to start fighting each other and establishing dominance. The baby, please. And after a year and a half of the gym and constant protein farts, I'm able to fight the baby with ease. As you can see this bad boy is not backing down at all. I actually do need to get past him. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to have a kangaroo in your backyard. Little man named DaBaby. That's Garbanzo Beans coming over. Beautiful little boy. Uh, but I'm going to be fighting DaBaby today. He's in a real rowdy mood because it's the fall. As you can see, Garbanzo Beans is running little circles around him. The new pond is doing well. There's a lot of huge frogs. There's Patrick over there. There's a lot of huge frogs that live in here now. As you can see, DaBaby's been fighting me a little bit tonight. I will be getting long sleeves soon. But I do have to get by DaBaby now because he's already turned on to his rage. You could just push him in that pond there. How's about I push you in that little pond, to baby? How's about I push you in the pond? Huh? How's about I push you in the pond? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, almost got me there. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. Also, these are our three beautiful ostrich hens. Turns out Homelander is in fact a woman. So all of these hens are now going to be laying eggs for us next year. And they are all essentially sanctuary birds because they came from a meat farm. As you can see, they are much much bigger than homelander is i'm gonna see if i can go in there and show you guys hey the baby this is a beautiful little ostrich head oh don't mind if i do <laughs> oh and this female here is starting to take her place as the alpha queen this is the alpha muscle mommy on the ranch she's more alpha than kevin and because of her kevin is no longer aggressive at all which is very interesting because kevin has always tried to fight the other male but i don't even think this is kevin this is soldier boy and kevin is just sitting all the way over there by himself but soldier boy who is his son that i raised in my living room if you know the lore is the only really friendly Rhea that we have and i think that kevin is seceding to him the status of alpha male but because this was the first little fella to hatch in the incubator i had to spend lots of time with him and i had to give him a chicken so he thinks he's part chicken basically boy oh boy take a look at these bleeders this is homelander he was a little baby with splayed legs he had horrible splayed legs that we corrected the good lord Lord help this little man to make a full recovery because of all the time that i spent with him whenever he was little helping him learn how to walk he's so friendly that he'll let me just kind of do whatever i want to him the fact that this is just an ostrich and i can just poke it on the butt like that not super common and as you can see these ones wouldn't let me do that they'll let me touch them see it's been a long hard day hello papper twig oh Fort is just over here munching on this little hay bale i keep a few hay bales back here at all times so these guys always have some food okay i just put some better diet on all of those bleeders he does be walking around in poop after all and there you go guys see it's not that bad 
Yeah. Oh, I hope you're ready, Jake Paul. We're finally getting the new doors put in. I just moved this outside and look what was under it, you guys. Beautiful little rat snake. Beautiful, beautiful little rat snake, you guys. Look at this. Hope I didn't hurt him whenever I was dragging that thing. And that's a beautiful snake. And it doesn't smell bad at all. I love this little thing. I'm gonna put him underneath the old house just so he can stay nice and warm and eat all of my mice. <laughs> it's hard to believe that just a couple years ago, this whole property used to be a dump, a crack house, an abandoned car shop, and a homeless camp. Look at this boy just sitting in the ash. Also, Poggers and Queen are gonna have to stay in here for one more day. They were able to install two of the doors, but not all of them. I now have everything we need to get rid of all the extra cichlids in my pond. And the gang's all here. We still have a little bit of sod to put down over here. And that's gonna be coming in this week. But look how precious these babies are. They just love sitting in this little bucket. This bowl retains heat a lot better than the normal ground. So these guys love just sitting in here. Oh, sweet wampum. Goat on the porch for today. Mom's not home. Goat on the porch for today. <laughs> Big ounce on the porch for today. Hooray! 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 Look, this is how he just stopped. He yelled and then he just sat like this. We did it, big ounce! We cleaned the porch!